Hi everyone! Yes, we have moved again. My chair has a lot of laundry on it. Sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. Today's video is late in both scheduling and it's like two weeks into the month and hopefully short because this wrap up is a whopping two books long. I had a pretty measly August. I just didn't read as much as I wanted to. However, these things happen and it's fine. I'll just have to try and read more this month, September. So the first book that I read in August was To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. Everyone read this in August. Let's be real. The movie came out on Netflix. The movie was so cute. I absolutely love the film. I don't even like films and I love that film. I gave the book about three stars. I liked it, but I feel that Jenny Han really likes to write main characters that are just immature and childish and juvenile kind of annoying. I read the first two books of the Summer I Turned Pretty series and I hated the main character and Lara Jean, although better, definitely had some of the same characteristics. The only thing that I think the book did better than the movie was the family dynamic and the Korean representation. That's kind of brushed over in the movie but then I suppose that's kind of to do with the fact that none of the girls cast as the Song Sisters are Korean and None of them are even the same Asian heritage. Also, Margot, who's like just going off to college, is like actually played by a 30 year old. But besides that, I enjoy the story. The book was cute. I liked it. I'm glad I read it. I did try and pick up the second book like immediately and I got to chapter three and just thought, I don't care. And the second and final book that I read in August, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This was a reread for me. I read this about three years ago when I first started my channel and I was not a fantasy reader, definitely not adult fiction. <laughs> and I gave this three stars three years ago and I gave it three stars this year. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed this. I struggle with rereads. I don't know what it is, but anything but Harry Potter, I just, I struggle to reread it. And even though I'd forgotten a lot of this, I just, I don't know. I enjoyed it more, but I also gave it the same rating. But I think that's because I originally rated it in the middle because I didn't know what to rate it. However, I am so excited to read A Gathering of Shadows this month as part of Common Spence's read-along. Did I say that? I can't remember but this is part of a read-along that's so why I read it and then I'm going to read the next one this month. But I didn't know that the next book involves like a tournament kind of thing so I am living. I don't think I will ever read this again but I have very very high hopes for book two now that I actually know what it's about. And considering we're like halfway through September, I should really read it soon, but um, I'm, I'm slacking, I'm sorry. And that were, 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 that, <laughs> those were, oh my god, I can't speak. Those were the two books that I read in August, and this is the quickest video I have ever filmed. Oh my god. Sorry. You, no, I was gonna apologize for the lighting, but no, no, we don't care. You're not here for the lighting, you're not here for my half dried hair, you're here for the books, and we've dealt with the books, so we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> Funny, because this is a wrap up. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to thumbs up the video if you liked it, thumbs it down if you didn't, because hey, that engagement stats. <laughs> and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. I just realised I spent the whole video looking at myself in the viewfinder like an amateur.